I recently bought a 2003 Ford F-250 uh, Super Cab four-wheel drive with the uh, 7.3 liter turbo diesel in it. Uh, one of the last to roll off the assembly line before they switched over to the 6 liter. And <clears throat> had it home for a few days. Uh, it sat next to my shop. I was waiting for a bed liner, some floor mats and things before I started driving it. And uh, I went to start it up and the ABS light came on and stayed on, which I had never seen that happen before in any of the Fords I'd owned previously. Um, so I started doing some research to see what was causing that. So here's what I was getting when I keyed on the ignition light. The ABS light usually comes on, does a quick self-check, and then goes off. But in my case, comes back on again, and it's solid. It, uh, it doesn't go off when I drive it, it doesn't flash, it doesn't do anything but stay solid. Now, if it isn't on and you start driving and you get around 8 to 10 miles per hour and this light comes on, that would indicate that you have a bad uh, ABS sensor, uh, one on each side of the front axle and one on the middle of the rear axle. Uh, any three of those can go bad and, um, and set this light while you're moving. Um, or it can be, in this case, it's, it's uh, on all the time. So that indicates that the uh, ABS system is not seeing a signal from one of the sensors. I did pull a code and it was for the right front uh, sensor. So this means that it's not seeing it. This doesn't mean this is a bad sensor, although you can check. But this light being on steadily, uh, whether the engine's running or not, whether you're driving or not, it's just always on, indicates that the ABS system in this truck is not seeing the right front wheel sensor at all. I went underneath the truck and pulled the connection loose and tested it and I did have resistance. Um, it's going to be different every time you check it because of the there's a rotating set of uh, notches in the wheel that run past this sensor and that's how the ABS computer can tell how fast each wheel is traveling. So depending on where you stop the truck you're going to get a different resistance signal depending on where, or where those notches are lined up with the sensor. But I did get resistance which uh, indicates that the sensor is probably good uh, otherwise, I'd probably see an open circuit, which means the sensor is bad. In this case, the system's not seeing that front wheel at all. So the first thing you need to do is start tracing the wiring back to the uh, ABS control module, which is over on the driver's side, on the other side of the uh, master cylinder reservoir over there. Um, but in this case, hopefully you'll be able to see this. Well, I've had a little intruder in my engine compartment that has severed one of the wires and almost severed the other right where it goes into the wiring harness that crosses over to the uh, driver's side. So I've got to pull this harness loose and try and get in there and get those wires connected again. Okay, what I did was I took a tool and I pulled this retainer out of the sheet metal on the right side fender allowing me a little more room for this wiring harness and then you can see the wire there it didn't actually the mouse didn't chew through one of the wires it just threw one but it did nick it um, I don't have enough room to get in here and do any e even a butt connector which I don't like to use anyway um, would be tough um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna disconnect it down below where the uh, it goes out to the, the the wheel sensor and I'm going to attach a small piece of rope to it and I'm going to pull it up through the fender repair it and then I'll be able to use the rope to pull it back down because it, this would be hard to, to fish out from down in there where, where it runs in the fender and the fender inner liner okay this is the the end uh, of the wiring harness uh, coming up from the engine compartment or coming down from the engine compartment plugs into this is the plug that goes out to the uh, ABS sensor at the wheel the wheel sensor that's the one that I checked two pins in there for resistance I had resistance and then uh, found the uh, the severed wire up on top so um, I'm gonna use this piece of string so I can fish it back down after I repair it so now I pulled that that wire 
up and here's the string pull it back down with now I have uh, a lot more working room I can get in here and I'm gonna solder that wire back and use some heat shrink tubing and then pull it back down so I can put it into place so I actually had to uh, splice a little piece of wire in there <clears throat> um, not much but uh, just enough got those two soldered up real good running right at 700 degrees on the soldering iron had a little piece of heat shrink tubing uh, hid back underneath this cover pulled it over heated it up and shrunk it down make sure that connection stays uh, tight and dry so after all the repairs are done I uh, key the ignition on and notice that the ABS light is uh, is still on solid um, so I did a quick search online and found that you have to clear that that code that's been set telling you it's the right front sensor left front sensor or the rear sensor um, there's two ways to do that um, you can either find someone who has an advanced type of scanner that can read and, and reset ABS codes or take it for a drive for over 15 miles an hour about 10 seconds and you clear the light the system has to see all the wheels turning and um, I guess it does some sort of internal self-diagnostic uh, so the light won't go out unless you have it cleared by someone or unless you take the vehicle for a short drive which is what I did light went out light staying out everything's working fine now I hope this video helps someone who's having a problem like this or a similar problem this is for an ABS light that comes on and stays on all the time um, then you need to you know be looking at uh, a, a wire or you know, something's something's not uh, communicating with the uh, ABS control module if your light is off and starts coming on after you start driving then that's a different problem that could be the actual ABS sensor at any of the three locations located on the truck uh, but in this case, this this was definitely a uh, a wire wiring problem.